Hey there, Geometry. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at another episode of Math with Mullins. Specifically, we're looking at Lesson 1.2, Points, Lines, and Planes from our um, curriculum in the Coral Hill. Hope, you're, hope you got your notes ready to go. And let's go ahead and take a peek at our first learning objective. Today we're going to be able to identify points, lines, and planes, and then also to be able to identify the intersections of lines and planes. You should have gotten a handout for notes. If not, you can just copy this in your notebook. But what we're going to do is define a few key terms, um, draw some pictures and examples with it, and then get into some examples after that. We're going to go and start with the drawing of a picture of a point. This is an example of a point because it's named by a capital letter. Uh, the definition of a point, you can say it's just one location. It is not a shape or size. and it's named by a capital letter. So the example I drew over here, we would just name that as saying point A. Okay. The next thing we're going to look at is a line. And a line can look like a few different things or have a few things drawn on there. I'm going to name this line with the lowercase m but I'm also going to add some points to it. So I'm going to put a point P and a point Q. Okay, so a line can be made up of points. It has no thickness or width, so it really doesn't really doesn't matter. Um, and really, to name a line, it's just one line through two points. So we can name this line simply line M, or we can name it PQ with the little line symbol on top, or you can actually write out line PQ, but usually people like this short notation. You could also flip it and say QP with the little line notation on top, or just write line QP. Cool? Next up, we have a plane. Um, let's go ahead and write the definition first, and then I'll draw what it looks like. So a plane is a flat surface. Okay, I want you to think like 2D for this. And made up of points. That extend infinitely in all directions of the plane. Um, to name it, you just use any three points that aren't on the same line. So, let's draw a picture. This is going to end up looking sort of like a parallelogram. Um, let's put, I'm going to put a little K in the corner, and then I'm going to have some points specifically around. So let's do C, V, and then D. Okay. Number of ways you can name this. The first one you can name it, I'm going to start over here because i got a lot to do. Plain K, just the letter, that's the easiest one but then you can also start doing a mixture of those letters. So plain C, B, D, or plain C, D, B, or plain B, C, D, or plain B, D, C. Any one of those combinations, you can even do D, C, B, or D, B, C as well. Okay, so I'll write those as well. Plain D, B, C, and then plain B, C, D. You don't have to do all those for a test or quiz. It might, one question might just say, name this plane to using two different names, and just know that you have many options here. Okay? The next one as we go down, there's no picture for this one because it's just a space. Um, so a space is just a boundless 3D set of all points, and we'll talk about why it could be 3D here in a minute on the back of our page. 
and this can contain lines and planes. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my text box for this next one. Collinear can be points on the same line. Non-collinear, though, are not on the same line. Okay, so what that looks like is this. Maybe I have a picture of a line here, and I have C, B, A, but then I have like point E down here and point D up here. So I would say points A, B, C are collinear because they are all on the same line, okay? Coplanar is the same kind of method we're thinking. Points on the same plane, okay? So again, let's draw a picture here just so you can get kind of an idea of what that's supposed to look like. Again, I'll draw quadrilateral looking thing for a plane. I don't know why planes or quadrilaterals might just show you like different perspectives. It could be a square as well. So this is plane S with points P, Q, and R, okay? So points P, Q, and R are coplanar. Notice the difference between coplanar and collinear. These are not on the same line, but they're, sometimes they can be coplanar but not collinear, and collinear but not coplanar. All right, two, a few more things, and we'll flip over and try some examples. Two lines are going to intersect at a point. A plane and a line can intersect at a point as well, but it could also intersect at a line, so or a line. And then two planes are going to intersect at a line. And we're going to see some examples on the back of your paper to see how those look at. So let's go ahead and take a peek over there. Example one, use a figure to name each of the following. A point, a line containing point Q. So here's point Q. One way we can say that line is just line C. Okay, but there are other ways you can name this line. We can say this line is TR with the little line symbol on top or RT. You can also say TQ or QT or RQ or QR. Okay, a plane containing point S and T. So point S and point T are all within plane A. So I'm using this big letter A here in the corner. But if you wanted to name the plane something else, you could. Let's say we wanted to name this plane T, R, S. I'm not going to use a collinear three points. I'm going to use coplanar here. Um, I can mix that up and maybe say plain TQS as well. Notice that, oops, notice that there could be two of the points could be on the same line, but you want to include one other point that's not on that same line. An additional name for line C, we kind of already touched base on this, and line A. So any of these options for part A could work. Line TR, RT, T, Q, Q, T, R, Q, or Q, R. Letter D, a point that is not coplanar with points S, T, and Q. So S, T, and Q are on this big plane. One point that is not included in that plane is point V, because it is outside the plane. Even though it's on a line intersecting the plane, it's not included inside the plane. Letter E, three points that are collinear. We've really just seen a lot of this. Point T and R and Q are all on the same line. And then you did have an error on this. It's supposed to say the intersection of line C and B because there's no line A. So here's line C, here's line B, and they're intersecting at point R, okay? Example two, maybe take a moment and pause the video here, see if you can try these examples on your own. And when you're ready, click play and see what you did or how you did. All right, letter A has six different planes, okay? And we're gonna name them all. We have plane P, and then we have each of the planes 
for the pentagonal pyramid, okay? So we have plane um, EFA. If you can see that, it's kind of like this triangle right here. So I'm just going to go around the pentagonal pyramid and name all of those. The next one I'm seeing, plane FGA, um, plane GCA. So that's one, two, three, four. Then I've got plane CDA. And then the last one, plane DEA. Okay, so just think about each one of these little triangles as a plane that they're making. Obviously, plane P includes everything on the bottom, so I didn't need to name like plane CGF. Okay, name four points that are collinear, meaning all in the same line. We should have tried points H, I, C, and F. Name the intersection of plane GAC and plane P. Remember what we talked about before. Planes and lines can be intersected at a point or a line. So this uh, plane is being intersected with another plane at line GC. I did not need to write that, so you could also just say GC with the little line on top, okay? And then the last one, name the intersection of HF and JI. That intersection is gonna lie at point I. Okay. Example three is our last one. This one actually gives us a three-dimensional shape, pentag or a rectangular prism. Let's again go ahead and pause the video here, try it on your own, and then see what you come up with when you are done. All right, name the intersection of ADE and DCB. So ADE is this plane, and DCB is this plane. So they're going to be intersecting at point D. Name two planes that do not intersect. You can say plane ADE and plane, let's say BCF. They are on opposite ends. They're not intersecting because they're not touching one another. And even if they still infinitely kept going, they would be almost like parallel lines, okay? Name two lines that do not intersect. Um, this can be any two skew lines. I chose line AD and line GF. They are not intersecting at all. Almost thinking about parallel here. And then the intersection of AH and GAH is point H, okay? Pretty simple for our first lesson um, with our geometry unit, point signs and planes. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Have a great day.